without Jesus, we wouldn't be here. And the fact is that we are here at Daytona 500. Each of your drivers are going to go left, 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 left. But to go to Jesus is going right. And when the driver goes right, he crashes and burns. But when he gets right with Jesus, you won't crash and burn. And when you die without Jesus, you will burn for all eternity. Salvation has been wrought through Jesus. That we are called to go out in the world to preach the gospel. Not come to church, not give money, not being good, but to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shalt be saved. That's the bottom line. All you need to do is to believe. You see? The Bible says in 2 Chronicles chapter 7, verse 14, If my people who are called by my name would simply humble themselves and pray. You see? If you want to have a personal conversation with Jesus, all you need to do is to humble yourself. Lord Jesus, I don't deserve to be in your presence because you are absolutely perfect and I am a sinner. I need to humble myself before you, perfect teacher. Amen. Today, I want to make a U-turn, but it is only because of you, God bless you, brother. <laughs> it is only because of you I'm still here. I am asking you this morning, Lord Jesus, save me. Amen. Save me. Because I do not want to be into the lake of fire forever and ever. Many people don't believe that. Some people think that I'm joking. Hey, God bless you, sister. Ain't no joke. Let, let, us, let us keep on preaching the word. Let us keep on preaching the word. Today is your day. Amen. As I said before, salvation is free. We are not here begging for money because salvation is not for sale. It right. is free. What we need is your soul. We, 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 we came here to snatch your soul from the fire because if you are a sinner, you are practicing sin, you are on your way to the lake of fire. But some people don't believe that. Some people don't believe that. You see? The Bible says in John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. We did not come to this life as the children of God. We came as God's creatures. But it is possible for you to become a child of God today. All you need to do is to humble yourself and speak to Jesus. Humble yourself because pride is a killer. Yep. I'm telling you, Amen. pride is a killer. That is what is stopping us from surrendering our life to the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, today, what a beautiful day. In Psalm 118 verse 24, the word of God says, for this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh yes, every single day is a blessing from the almighty Jesus. It is simply because of the unconditional love of God, we are still here on earth. It is because of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Because we read in Matthew 24 verse 14, the good news of the kingdom will be preached to every nation as a witness and then the end will come. It is simply because of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ, you see mankind is moving around. Only because of the gospel, only because of the unconditional love of God. Oh yes. Would you like to say something, brother? No. I'd like to say that Jesus Christ saved my soul. I grew up as a Catholic and that did nothing for me. I am not ashamed of the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. And 
today you can come forward and you can ask Almighty God to save your soul. In your name, written in the land, book of life by the blood of Jesus. I said by the blood of Jesus. I didn't say by going to church. I didn't say by water. I said by the blood of Jesus Christ. Act help. Have you been to Jesus for the cleansing power? Are you washed in the blood? Because if you're not, you're not a God. You're not a child of God without the blood of Jesus. And I've said before, Jesus will say, depart from me, you work with the iniquity. I never knew you. And he is just as well as saying, go to hell. And you don't want God to say that. Amen. You don't want God to tell you to go to hell. You want God to say, well done. And well done is by you putting your faith and believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shall be saved. Saved from what? People don't like hell. Churches don't like hell. What are you going to be saved from? The wrath of God because you don't have the Son, the Bible says. John chapter 3. John chapter 3 is loaded for you. The glory of God is Jesus Christ. Preacher, I'm good. You're not good enough because the Bible says there's none that doeth good. What are you going to do when the Bible says what you say is wrong? You're going to go to hell. What are you going to do not to go to hell? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved, brother. Amen, amen. Thank you, bro. Yes. In the Gospel of Matthew chapter 4, verse 4, the enemy came to Jesus and said to him, If you are the Son of God, why don't you speak to the stones and turn them into bread that you should eat because you're hungry. Jesus says, it is written, for man shall not live by bread alone, but from every word that proceeds from the mouth of God. Now, you see, just like you feed your flesh every day, you shower yourself every day, you scrub yourself every day with water and soap, you need to scrub your mind with the word of God because the word of God is the perfect cleanser for your mind because the mind of man is exceedingly wicked. Hello? The mind of man is exceedingly wicked because the Bible says in Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 9 for the heart of man is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked. That's what the Bible says. See, the looks are deceiving. If you don't have a personal relationship, relationship with God, you got a problem. A personal relationship with the Lord Jesus Christ is everything. Amen. Oh yes. Believe me, you do not want to die and go to hell and then the lake of fire that you don't want. Because the Holy Spirit is not a liar. The Holy Spirit says there is a hell and there is a lake of fire for the wicked. Who are the wicked? The wicked are those who turn their backs on God. Yeah. Every human being that doesn't have a personal relationship with the word of God, you are a wicked one. Yeah. And that's the bottom line. That's the bottom line. Because in 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 31, the Holy Spirit says, whether you eat or drink, whatever else that you do, do all to the glory of God. We are not here to worship ourselves. We are not here to do for ourselves only. But the first thing is God. God should be number one in our lives. Amen. Yes, brother, I got to preach. Because if only I can take just one to Jesus. Just one. Just one. Right, brother? Amen. Only one. If I can take just one to the Lord Jesus Christ, the angels of God will rejoice in heaven. I know that. 
Just one soul. That's why we're here. I am saved to work. Jesus came to work and he worked for three and a half years and went home. Now, the rest is for you and I. We need to speak on behalf of God. If indeed that we have been raised from the dead, we become children of God, we need to confess God before men because the whole world is filthy with sin. Sin is multiplying in the world today. We are in Sodom and Gomorrah. Hello? When he had destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham pleaded with God to save Sodom and Gomorrah. Father, if there are 50 righteous people there, will you still destroy them? No way. Amen. They went from 50 to 10. There were not 10 righteous men in Sodom and Gomorrah, Zeboim and Adma. The Lord Jesus Christ says in the Gospel of Luke chapter 17, beginning in verse 26, the same thing will take place again. The same thing will take place again. Mankind is very busy with the flesh. It is all about the flesh. It is all about making money. There is no time for God. The Bible says God works six days and the seventh day God rested. Mankind works seven days a week. He has no time for God. To some of us, there is no God. Some of us say, oh, I am an atheist. Oh, I am an atheist. You are a liar because you have the image of God into your heart. Wherever you go, you see the step of God all over you. All you need to do is to confess your sins to God. All you need to do is to say, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, I am so stupid, so dumb, please save me. I, you, you, you created me with your perfect love and I turn my back on you. You wake me up every single morning to go to work, to provide for myself and my family. Never I turn my face to you and thank you for anything. Yeah. I know some people say there is no God. I know that. You see, we go as far the birds worship God in the morning. The lions, the trees, the wind worship God. But the only creature that was created in the very image of God turned his back on God. Amen. He says there is no God. We have become so puffed up. You know why? Because when we're healthy, we have some money in the bank. We have a house. We have children. Life is beautiful. But when God removes everything, we begin to cry like babies. Oh, I don't have anything anymore. I lost my house. I lost my spouse and everything. You see? Every blessing is from above, from the almighty God. Just the fact that you are on your feet today, it is simply because of the unconditional love of God. Amen. Unmerited love of God. Undeserved love of God. That's the reason why we are here. But we need to acknowledge God. We need to set aside time for God. Because God has the key of life and death. Jesus can only turn the key and you're dead. That's it. Amen. That's it. Just turn the key. Boom. You're dead. But if you are to die today without making peace with Jesus, you will regret it forever and ever because you will be into the lake of fire. I know that God is not a liar. That I know. I may lie to you, but God will never lie to you. Amen. He speaks the truth. You see this book? This book is your GPS. If you want to return to heaven, if you want to go to the third heaven, all you need to do, just like you play with your smartphone, open this book, read. Amen. This book will lead you 
directly to Jesus. This is your GPS because it is the best gift ever from the Almighty God. It is the gift of salvation. If you spend time in this book, believe me, you will never ever regret it. I guarantee you. Jesus will never leave you nor forsake you. Jesus will always be with you every step of the way. I have been serving Jesus for 36 years. Never one day Jesus left me by myself. Amen. Never. Right, brother? Amen. It is true. 33 years Because here. the Lord Jesus Christ is faithful. He is a faithful God. Jesus is not a liar. Amen. Today is your day. Believe me, you, you, you don't want to die without making peace with God. I, I, I remember I was, there was a time I used to be dead, spiritually speaking. I didn't know God. But when God came to me and said to me, Ben, I want you to make a U-turn. Follow me. Because I am the way, the truth, and the life. I will teach you the word. I went and got myself a French Bible. At that time, I didn't speak any English. I think this police officer. I got myself a French Bible. And I started the reading the word. The more I read the Bible, the more I humble Glory myself. To God. Glory to God. The more I read, Thank the more I humble you. myself. Why? Because the word of God is so powerful. And the next best thing would be the word it of is God. so loving. Oh my. The word of God is so precious. Amen. It teaches you how to behave yourself especially in your marriage relationship if you don't know the word of god you don't know how to behave yourself in a marriage relationship because almost everyone almost everyone that doesn't have a personal relationship with god have a tendency to cheat to commit adultery i'm telling you because the devil is not playing the devil is very busy. One in three marriages, we find a divorce today. Why? Because the devil is at work. Without the word of God, you will never, ever be able to overcome the enemy. The word of God is your GPS. May God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Remember that the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back again. You do not want to die without him. This is the message today. God bless you. He's holding him. <laughs> Never had like that. Before. Glory to God. Glory to God. His <laughs> name is so wonderful. Amen. Oh yes. We know that Jesus 